Hey guys, how's it going? Going to be making another quick little video about the benefits to actually using your player island. If you don't know what I mean yet, go to my channel and there's a video basically talking about the player island in general, how to get it, and what it does for you, and uh, how it works pretty much, and stuff like that. Well, I currently was going to be crafting a whole bunch of boots because I want to level up my boot crafting skill. And I'm trying to do this, but you'll notice that Every single pair of boots I craft costs me 280 gold, 280 silver each time I want to do it. Now, I was actually intending to make about 400 of them, which was going to cost me about 112k, just the processing fee. Now, the unfortunate reason for this is because if you press in here, we'll notice that every single slot is owned by someone per some person called Diva here in Fort Sterling. And they've basically monopolized absolutely everything. And so anytime we ever want to craft ever here, we have to pay insane fees to be able to do anything. Now, the unfortunate truth is that that's pretty much the only option we got. And now, because they've, they've bought all the other plots, every single other one of them, and has filled them in with something that's basically pointless, so we can't build there. And so it's all just that one person. So our only other option here is to use our island now if you didn't already know the island actually doesn't give you back resources so you'll notice that here i could get a potential 25 percent return rate on resources but i can't actually receive that on my island but if i received 15 percent resource return rate and i was say getting i did i had about i have about four thousand about let's just say I have 4,000 bars I have 4,000 bars times 0.15 this is how many extra I would receive which if I were to buy them if I were to buy 600 extra bars it would cost me roughly $66,000 it is much more money efficient for me to actually create my own blacksmith and not save the extra resources and just use uh just buy more with the money I save here in Fort Sterling. It may not be the same in other towns in this game, but unfortunately, that's just how it is, and it's still laggy no matter what they do to the servers. So, we are going to be getting the last bit of the stuff we need, and we're going to finish our blacksmith, and I'm going to show you guys how to build a blacksmith or whatever you're trying to build, how to upgrade it, and pretty much everything that you need to know about... Uh, essentially crafting your own tools on your personal island. I did turn off the game sound though. I actually lacked one single rough log to do this, so that's really unfortunate. But if we go ahead and start running over here to our private island, the private island is something that is really nice because one, there's not a billion people there, so it's actually quite relaxing to be able to have your own place to go. So we're going to go ahead and run in here, and I'll show you guys how to build stuff on your island and how to upgrade the stuff on your island and show you the kind of stuff it's going to cost you now for the blacksmith it costs 300 of each of the things that we're going to be showing here in a moment but we're going to finish the upgrade literally needed a one stone now if i were to try upgrading my blacksmith one more time it would cost 300 of these tier 5 blocks now it's going to cost you 300 of each tier of block every single time you upgrade it so the first upgrade is tier two the second upgrade is uh actually the, the building of it is tier two the first upgrade is tier three this last upgrade was tier four but that means that i can now craft and work with tier four stuff inside my island now if we find a piece of armor here let me scroll down here to what i was planning on crafting you'll notice that we don't get any resource return rate however if we focus we still get that resource return rate which is very interesting because if you try focusing inside the city you only get 25 per like 27 ish percent but if you focus while you're here you actually get 37 percent so if you're willing to use focus in order to craft it is much more worth it to use your island because you still receive resources you use focus points but you also save yourself a lot of money in fees though whenever you're using things like this you have to keep something in mind they have a crafting capacity, so you can only craft so much stuff over a set amount of time. Has a durability that you can repair, which you can click by do it by clicking the repair button. You can also have to 
supply them with food. So you actually have to give them some type of food, which I don't really have any foods. I just have a bunch of potatoes. So there we go. Oh, this item cannot be fed. Can I just give this guy raw potatoes? I guess not. So favorite dish, mutton stew. So I'm assuming if we give him mutton stew, this will probably either do better or it'll uh, just make him happy, I guess. I mean, I, I would like to give him his favorite food. Basically, whenever you build a building, though, you have to upkeep it with food. And if you click on the type of food, it actually supplies this amount of nutrition. So if he has he has 100 nutrition right now, he maxes out at 795,000. You can tell you can have quite a high amount. So how to build on your island. What you do is you look for an open plot, which looks something like this. You press the H key and you have a whole bunch of list of stuff you can do. You have the farming buildings, which basically lets you process raw ingredients in general from your uh, animals or uh, different things. You can plant your farms, your kennels, stuff like that. You have military, which is your workbench, so you can craft tools. Um, you have the forge, so you can make weapons, uh, mage stuff, bow stuff, houses, so you can actually have a house, which can you even put that there. Oh, you can build another house if you wanted one. Okay, that's neat. So if you wanted to build, say, the same thing I'm building, you'd have to go Novice Warrior's Forge, click on it, place it down, and you'd have to spend this initial resource to build it. It takes a little bit to upgrade it, but honestly, with the amount of crafting that I think I'm going to be doing, because I want to max out my level, it turns out that I'll probably end up uh, spending a lot of resources in general. So we're actually going to demolish this because we don't really need it. Um, we can demolish that later. We can demolish it through... Uh, if we get like a demolition hammer, we should be able to destroy this if we don't want it. So, let's see. Oh, we can just give up? Maybe? Oh wait, maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... Yeah. You're not allowed to attack... You are about to allow attacks on this building. Attacks with a demolition hammer can destroy the building and everything in it re irreversibly. Let's turn that on. We'll get a demolition hammer at some point. There we go. And that's pretty much how you build. It's super easy. You press the H key, you buy the resources or gather the resources you need to upgrade it, supply them with food, and you're pretty much good to go. The main thing that you do need to remember is that you do not save resources. And if in some cities there's not a monopoly, you can actually probably more benefit from crafting a specific type of thing somewhere else in the world. It's just better. Fort Sterling is really bad because D.Va owns everything. So it's really difficult for us to be able to craft things without spending a ton of money in the process of your crafting in mass. So hopefully that saves you guys some money. I'm going to go and I'm going to get to crafting because I have some crafting that I've been wanting to do. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know in the comments. And if there's anything else that I didn't mention that you think I should have, let me know and I'll try my best to put it in another video. Have a good day, guys.